episode of Shift. I'm your host, Palmonia Gordon. Thank you for joining us today. Today, I wanted to talk to you about blind faith. What is blind faith? Blind faith, which it's actually my word that I got. So for those of you who haven't watched one of my, I think it was my first or second episode for 2019, I talk about how at the start of the year, I pick a word that kind of like, is my reset. That was the message. The reset that you use to remind you to go back, to keep going, that you're going to hit your goals, you're going to hit your dream. So one of mine for 2019 is blind faith. And blind faith talks about trusting, taking the next step, even when the path is not clear, when you can't see what's happening, when everything around you says it won't work you keep believing and what I love I, I love how God works in my life which is why I I'm so um capricious that's a word that's on my cup and I realize I lived that word fully I'm so capricious or spontaneous in how I I act because I live the reality of blind faith. I met with this blind lady yesterday. Her name was Kelly. And what was amazing this morning as I'm doing my devotion, I'm thinking about blind faith. My interaction with Kelly came back and I noted some things. When I met her at this restaurant that she chose the restaurant, I didn't know where it was. And I got there before her and I'm sitting. And even though she has a blind dog that leads her, she came in and she just stood by the door. And I think the guy at the counter is trying to find, okay, you know, what's happening. But, but I had gone in and initially asked him if a blind woman had come in. But she stood there. And I'm like, oh. She waited for me to acknowledge that she was there. I came over and had got her and she basically had me turn so that she could put her hand on my back and as I walked, she just used that to guide her to the table and then, you know, she allowed the dog to go in under the grace to go in and, and, and take her seat under the table and then she sat down and I thought, wow, you could learn. Now, this woman took the bus. She takes, she has been to, uh, Vancouver, she's been to Kuwait, she's been, she has traveled, but she is blind. She's been blind from birth. And I thought, wow, isn't that interesting? So when I am coming to you now, Shift Nation, about blind faith, I am asking you, where are you right now? What's the path you've been on? What's the progress or lack of progress have you been experiencing? And are you about to give up? The year just started, but yes, I know. It doesn't take 365 days for some of us to get to that point. For some of us, it just could be one day. I had one of my girlfriend that recently posted that in like 24 hours, she had two families that went home. And her mother wasn't taking it very well. So blind faith means we're going to keep trusting. We're going to have to get out of our comfort and become trusting of others. Because that's what Kelly had to do. She had to trust me that I was going to guide her safely to the table without her bumping into anything on the way there. And... I realize that blind faith humbles you because if you're not used to asking for things or you're not used to depending on people for things, now you have to change that. And I know that's the path that I'm on right now where my word, like I said, is blind faith to trust God, to wait, to wait to be acknowledged, to wait to be guided and taken where I need to go. And just be quiet. Because when you're blind, you can see what's happening. But what's beautiful, your other senses kick in. And now you hear. You can listen more. I was talking to my niece recently. And I said to her that when Jamie Foxx did the movie, Ray, 
he had his eyes surgically shut like they had a special glue that they glued it shut so he physically couldn't see which made his other senses kicked in which is why he played the part so well because he literally was blind blind faith shift nation it's a tough one but it's going to be an amazing year. That's why God wants us to just trust the process. And that's what blind faiths come down to. Trust in the process even when you can't see. Remember to give two thumbs up. Remember to like, to subscribe. Remember, I'm a speaker and a coach. If you need somebody to speak at an event that you're hosting, give me a call. Send me an email, palmoniag at gmail.com. Go to my website, palmoniagordon.com. I love you. God bless you. Like the second hand on the clock. Oh, yes, we're going to keep ticking. Hashtag shift. Have a good day.